Well, I'm joined now by a senior member of the Israeli Foreign Ministry, who is also himself a Muslim and a Bedouin. A remarkable, in fact, probably unique combination. Ishmael Kaldi is that Bedouin Arab who spent the first eight years of his life living in a tent and working as a shepherd. Not anymore. Today, he's in the ranks, he's risen up to near the top of the Israeli Foreign Service to become Senior Policy Advisor for Arab Affairs. Ishmael, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very sorry that I came late. Someone told me that I have to be here at 6 o'clock, but for some reason, I arrived late. So again, my apologies. I'm, uh, you know, I'm working according to what's called the Bedouin time, or Jewish time, I have no idea. But I came late. Look, I won't speak that much. I'll make it very short, uh, quick. I don't know what you expect to hear from me. Uh, I will do it uh, short, and then please ask me any questions that you want. Where is the freedom of speech for the 1,500 Palestinians killed in Gaza? Where is the freedom of speech for the students? <laughs> citizens of Israel. We don't discuss with the Ku Klux Klan. Why should we discuss with this thug? This man, this man's boss kills students, arrests students, kidnaps students. They make education <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.